This fall, a group of first graders enjoyed the first school field trip to the new Plant Conservation Science Center. Associate scientist Patty Bitt gave them a tour of the seed bank and answered some of their questions about plant science. Why are plants so important to save? Plants are important to save because they provide all of our oxygen, which is really important because they need us to stay alive just as much as we need them. But we probably need them a little bit more because not only do they provide us oxygen that we breathe, they also provide all of our food. And when I say all of our food, I really mean all. Because even though when sometimes we sit down to dinner and we're eating a steak or a piece of chicken, ultimately, for the chicken to grow or for the cow to produce beef, they have to eat plants too. So all of our food comes from plants in one way or another. The other thing that plants provide for us are medicines. So very long ago, we used to rely directly on plants to make teas and poultices and other things that we use to heal our bodies. And even though we now have science and technology, all of our medicine still comes mostly from plants. And then lastly, plants provide a beautiful environment. That's really important to us, too. We feel happier when plants are around us. Are some plants more important than others? Some plants could be considered more important than others because, for example, in the prairie, where there's a lot of grass, there are one or two species of grasses that are what's called dominant. And that means that there's more of them than there are of anything else. We sometimes also think of dominant species as keystone species. But every species in the prairie is important because it is part of the diversity of the prairie. And having a very diverse prairie means that it is more resilient. It's kind of like being healthier. So the more plants and different species there are in a prairie, the healthier the prairie is, and it can be resilient or withstand attacks from invasive species the same way our body can withstand attacks from bacteria. What happens if plants die? When a plant species dies, that's called going extinct. And when a species goes extinct, it means that it's gone forever. Every individual species has arrived at a unique solution for living in our world. And that means that that solution is gone forever. And with it go compounds that could be used for medicines, food for other animals perhaps, nectar for pollinators. So if a species goes extinct, the solution, the unique solution to that type of problem, that environmental problem, goes with it. What are some pollinators in Illinois? Most of the plant species in Illinois have what are called generalist pollinators. So they're pollinated by all kinds of bees, including big bumblebees and little bumblebees, and some of them are pollinated by um, honeybees. Some of them are pollinated by the wind. So everything from various grasses, as well as big oak trees and maple trees, those are all pollinated by the wind. And here in Illinois, we also have some species that are pollinated by big moths that fly at night called hawk moths. Some of our rare prairie orchids are pollinated by those. And we have some species that are pollinated by hummingbirds as well. So here in Illinois, we have pretty much every major class of pollinator that we know about.